morning all. We begin the day without much ado. I, on behalf of Vidya Prabhupada College, you welcome the chief guest of today's uh, program, Lieutenant Colonel Yuvraj Malik, the director of National Book Trust. We are privileged to have you amongst us here, sir. And uh, I'm sure the session will be quite productive and quite fruitful. Uh, to uh, lay out the program for all of you, uh, uh, will be addressed by the director and uh, then be followed by a quick uh, Q&A session wherein uh, students and teachers are free to participate and uh, ask their questions either in English or in Hindi. Uh, before we begin, uh, I would like to ask uh, Sri Nitesh Naik, the college librarian, to give you all a brief overview of the National Book Trust. The National Book Trust India is an apex body established by the Government of India, the Government of Higher Education Minister of Human Resource Development in the year 1957. The objective of the NPT are to produce and encourage the production of good literature in English, Hindi and other Indian languages and to make such literature available at moderate prices public and to bring out book catalogs, arrange book fairs, exhibitions and seminars and take all necessary steps to make the people book minded. NBT is mandated to publish the classical literature of India, outstanding works of Indian authors in Indian languages and their translation from one Indian language to another, translation of outstanding books from foreign languages and outstanding books of modern, language, modern knowledge for popular diffusion. The major activities of NPT include publishing of non-textbooks, organizing book fairs, book exhibitions, conducting literary events, activities for children, training in publishing throughout the country, participating in international book fairs to promote Indian literature, providing financial assistance to NGOs, authors or publishers, bodies to organize various book promotional activities to encourage promotion of books and review. The NBT publishes general books which include works of fiction, books on social sciences, medical sciences and cutting edge technology for all segments of society and for all age groups. The NBT also publishes a wide variety of books for children and post literary reading material for non literates Moderately priced, NBT publishes books under different series in English and in all major Indian languages of India which are uh, Hindi, Assami, Bangladesh, Bangla, Gujarati, Kannada, Kashmiri, Kumkini, Malayala, Manipuri, Marathi, Nepali, Uriya, Punjabi, Rajasthani, Bhojpuri language, Sindhi, Tamil, Telugu, and Urdu. In addition, NPT also publishes select books for children in Hindi, Gondi, Santali, and some non eastern languages such as Ao, Naga, Udya, Boro, Garo, Khasi, Koboro, Lepcha, Lingu. Missing, Mizo and Neori, and we pay special attention to those generations which are not adequately covered by other publishers. This relates to books on science and technology, environment and the land and the people of India, and books in Delhi designed especially for the general people. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ritesh, sir. Uh, moving on, uh, I again welcome our uh, chief guest of the uh, program today. Uh, sir has come all the way from Delhi. He has he had actually come for a three-day workshop on translation of literature from English and Hindi into Gokni. Uh, he is leaving back today on the evening and he has managed to squeeze in some time for us. So I urge all of you to make the most of this opportunity to ask you questions on the various uh, schemes that the NPT has. For example, there are schemes for translators, schemes for book writers, uh, schemes for anyone who wishes to be part of uh, you know, the proliferation of literature amongst uh, the general youth and audience of the country. So, uh, so NPT has a lot of uh, uh, schemes for almost every section of literature, whether uh, English or other Indian languages. Uh, I request sir to uh, address the audience and uh, throw light on all these schemes and uh, also request you to assure us of how we can be a part of uh, the NPT's uh, national mandate. Thank you, sir. I hope uh, audible, respected 
Bhaveji, the esteemed faculty, teachers, and my dear young friends, I'll call you. I'll call you friends because unless there's a very warm and reciprocal uh, vibes, you cannot uh, exchange ideas and you cannot exchange thoughts. Of course, you are students, but at some point of time, you have to become friends with your intellectual wavelengths. You'll find some time when a boy over 20 when you are uh, having a friendship with a 60 year old. So, what is the combination in that? That is the intellectual wavelength that gets two people along. So, relationship is not in terms of age, I will call it. It is more important in terms of intellectual wavelength and intellectual depth that we have. Now, I've been asked uh, before I start what I should speak. I really want uh, what you want to listen from me. There's a thousand things to talk. Half an hour, an hour is too short. You tell me what you want to ask. What is the query in your mind? You shoot that so that I address it uh, right now. The last what happened? I speak monologue. I will push off. That is not the uh, ideal way of having a communication. So quickly, you just tell me the questions which you have in mind. I'll cover up in my conversation. Quickly. Any questions? Really, you can ask anything on any domain about leadership, this, management, NBT, your uh, opportunities, career, publishing, whatever you want to ask. No questions? Which you can look up to from NBT. So 
where anxiety is stopped, we start with. So the idea is, if you want to go on deeper into the content, you can go to various supplementary or additional reading books. What is our mandate? Mandate is one line, to promote book reading cultures. And to promote book reading culture, there are many steps we do, many activities we have taken. We organize various book fairs at block level, district level, state level and national level and international level also. We also have to deliver book fairs which many of you would have heard of and also attended. We do take undertake a lot of exhibitions on various themes. We also do a lot of workshops, that is for what we are right, right, now, right now here. Under that what we do, we tell people to uh, if I give you a story of I will start, will you able to relate with that? If I explain, I landed in uh, dunes of Rajasthan and I took three fishes out of sand and then and fried them. Is it possible? There is no fish fish here. So when I talk about fish, I have to go to the coastal region. So that is what the history, geography, culture, everything has to become a composite package. Then only a good content can come out. Relating that, Thinking in Delhi, it doesn't happen. So always we prefer to do, when we curate the content for the regional languages, go to the ground, go to the place. If you want to say mother is carrying, you have to know how does a mother in Konkani region look like, what she wear, how she carries a baby. A woman carrying a working woman carrying a baby in Rajasthan is different from Kutch than from Goa. Isn't it? The way she dresses is out, which is Bahangi Rakti she works in labor. Here it is different. We have to understand the regional cultural ethos. That's why these workshops are important. Why I am saying it? Because over a period of time, the cultures dilute. And I say Konkani, that means a Konkani is a language. But Konkani is also a culture. But when I say culture, every culture needs a means of communication that is a language. Please understand this basic fact. They go hand in hand together. You can't separate them. I take away your language and make you deaf and dumb. Whatever you may be knowing, can you take it further? So languages die because there is no enough steps to produce content in that. Today we say, our response is our own way there. Opinion there. How? Somebody has documented over a period of time. That is why it is important to create content. Now, we publish books not only in English and Hindi, in more than 55 Indian languages, which also includes the far from Bastar region tribal languages also. We are publishing almost all the possible scheduled languages, also six UN languages. Now, we get some good content. For example, other day I was reading about uh, Jijabai in Marathi. So I read the translation in English. I found it very interesting. Then I thought, why not the every woman in the northern region should read about uh, the great mother of country, how she created Shivaji. When I say created that mindset, that leadership abilities, so that content of Marathi should be taught in all the schools in North, because South people have read, but not North. Similarly, when we have read about Shankaracharya, why it shouldn't go to the Central India? The idea of taking these projects of translation from one language to another is to integrate the content and exchange the knowledge. So when you do this and somebody is liking a hero from South, if you like a hero from North and similarly I like a hero from South, the country unites. That is the whole concept of Ek Bharat Shrishth Bharat. Ek Bharat cannot be sub log, Ek Lagi Kapde Pahenenge, Ek Lagi Kap Pahenenge, Ek Lagi Juta Pahenenge. No. India is the only country which celebrates unity through diversity. There is adequate space for everybody in this country, adequate space for all ideas, all theories, all philosophies. That is our beauty. Whereas you go to Europe, other nations, they believe in uniformity. We are French, we are German, we are Spanish. We say we are Indian. But when we say we are Indian, we don't say I am Hindi, I am Marathi, I am English. Everybody is there. 22 languages we have in our constitution. That means there is no order, language number 1, 2, 3, 4. No, it is not like that. All languages in schedule have equal status. Please understand. Does that mean that we stick to that language? No. We are a very liberal democracy. We have to understand that what we get as a mother tongue is our strength. But beyond that, we need an outreach. And outreach can come from other languages. 
So learning other languages is as important as your mother tongue. Mother tongue is your survival. If you stay for one month or two months in Europe or any other country where you can't speak Hindi or your mother tongue or Konkani, I am telling you that moment you meet somebody from your region in that country, you feel that you have you know, such a great meal, you feel like talking in your own language. That is the beauty of language. Because physical light you are getting, where is your emotional intellectual light? It comes from your language. The language which touches your heart, not only mind. So this is the whole idea we are working that we take content from one part to another and three things you must understand. One, promotion of cooperative culture. Number two, good quality content. NBD never publish anything self-standard. You may be any kind of, I have presented many books which are of the top most leading award winners. You are award winner for that book, I respect you for that. But you are not award winner for the book you have sent me to publish. Understanding my point. So you have to maintain your stand, your quality and your authenticity of content, then only you can survive. Third important aspect, we publish for all age group. It starts from 0 to 80. Even new literates who are illiterate, but in the older age they've got some basic learning. We publish book even for them. So all age group, all regions, all languages, good quality content at an affordable price. Nobody can beat the price. I challenge it. It's almost at least 50% cheaper than the market. At least 50% cheaper. Why? Because the way we do it, the standards which we follow, they're the lowest in the market. We don't, we don't do big, you know, mega campaigns in malls and all. Because our idea is to reach to the last edge of Kutch, to the national and last edge of Kalyan Kumari in Srinagar. Now there are challenges in the industry. People are switching a segment which is digitally empowered, switching to e-books, the audio books. So how do we match? We are also coming into e-books now. Now the idea is what else we do. I will quote one scheme which we started recently. There are so many schemes. You ask me a question, how do you publish a book? You don't need any reference. If you send a reference, there is a high possibility it will be rejected. We believe as a philosophy in the institution, the best recommendation for a book is a self-recommendation. My name is director at the NBTIndia.gov. You just write a name with a mail, ID, phone number and a script for text. That is the best recommendation. I am telling you, with full authority and credibility, you can take my words. If you send your script yourself, there is a very high probability that because unless and until you are not confident, that means you are lacking some, some punch. You need somebody else to push. And we never disclose the name of the reviewer, the editors, the author. Till late, you will not find a single case that you know who has reviewed your book, who has recommended your book and who has edited your book. You will never get to know. Even my office will not get to know who is doing what. Because the moment I know that I have got Haveji's book and I write adverse remark, Haveji achi aadmi nahi hai, mera person nahi hai, design kutwa kita. That is the only thing we avoid. We never tell this book belongs to whom. When I send my book to expert, he will never know this is Haveji's book. And when the comments will come, he will never get to know that Mr. X has reviewed the book. Are you understanding? So they are totally, I should remove the content from the side, only the script goes, script number so and so. So the merit comes out. That is, how, that is how we are able to maintain the quality content. That is why books are so special. This is one part. Second is uh, affordable pricing. Idea of affordable pricing is because we are not looking for survival. Our aid, salary, everything, government is paying for it. So we have a mission. So we are not everything thinking kitna paisa bachega, kitna profit aega. No. At times we publish a book which is very less circulation. We publish it because that book is necessary for the content preservation of the nation. They may not have a market, but they have a heritage value. They have a content value. They have a knowledge value. So we publish it. So that is the only reason we have affordable pricing. And more important is that we are publishing tribal regional languages. The main capacity of intellectual is very less. We can tell them that the child has 5 rupees of 5 rupees of 5 rupees. It has to be fed and reasonably. That is why we do them. On top of that, we give 20 to 25 percent discount also because that is the operating cost. With that also we absorb. We also have many schemes where we have a lot of books which after certain age of the book we donate them. Fair cost. 
for schools which are poor in the hinterland to have books, we donate those books also. Now, the scheme I was talking about, about a very interesting scheme. You will be surprised to know that this is the world's biggest and largest literary exercise ever carried out. I didn't find any record of that kind of thing. The name of the scheme is PM Yuva Yojana. Prime Minister, young, upcoming, versatile authors. Five things. First, young. You have to be below 30 years. Upcoming, we don't expect that you are a full-fledged established writer. We just feel that you are a good raw material who can become a good writer. So you are upcoming. Versatile because uh, we don't restrict you will write A or B or C. You will write the way you want to write. So we give all options. And then authors. Because you have to pick up that skill. So we floated this exercise, invited applications and asked 5,000 word script. And then you will be surprised within two months, in 22 languages this year, you will be receiving more than 16,000 manuscripts. 16,000 in two months. Our young minds have written it. And then we scrutinized them in three tier process and we selected them through interview and various. And the best of the faculty in the national level was there. And then now we are paying them 50,000 rupees per month of scholarship. People don't have salary of 50,000. We are paying a scholarship of 50,000. Also, we are giving them 10 to 15 percent, depending on its 10 percent right now, lifetime royalty. This boy who gets selected is getting a platform to become the voice of the nation, good author. Why I am saying it? Understand it. If you say age group, two are below 15, 14 years old. More than 18 are from 15 to 18. From 18 to 25, another 20. And lastly, another 17, 18. So these 75 people, the majority, 75% are below 25. More than 50% are below 18. And the competition was between a guy sitting in JNU doing a research and a young boy in a school who is doing 10th class. It is an open field. Again, I can assure you, we have chosen the best. When the entries came, we detested it, it them. Only text number. So nobody knows who's did this. Even if you get a call, he's for the close, for the close. You can't help it. Because you don't know whose script is this. The moment a script has come, the name is going to another box, the script is going to another box. Keep matching it. Understanding my point. So when you are at a national level institution, you have to ensure that you have integrity back, you ensure transparency, then you ensure quality. So you have to ensure all the possible measures where the quality may be compromised and you don't let it happen. Another thing which I want to share with you, so this is what young minds can do whenever we have another scheme, write your scripts, take guidance from them and we have given them the mentors now. Dedicated mentoring to bring them to them online classes. Weekly sessions you can see on our website and YouTube. Weekly sessions from top authors. Suppose somebody is writing on Savakar. Mr. Vikram Sampath is giving a lecture. So Mr. Pati is giving. Who is who in the industry is available on our panel and they are taking classes. So this is one part of it. Then we do a lot of exhibitions. Here we are thinking and discussing with sir to have a book festival or a book fair and then we can take on some literary activities also. So these are the things which we keep going all over the country. Last month we finished in Emirates. Now we are thinking about having a Shimla in May or June. So these are the things which we do. Now the concept of mother, mother tongue, I know. So there are three things, understand it very clearly and how the conflict is not there. First is mother. You can have a second father, but there can be only one mother. So you cannot repeat the mother. Secondly, where you are born, you have one motherland. After that, all are, uh, you know, adopted motherland kind of concept. So you can't repeat motherland. And third, the first word you speak from your mouth, ma, amma, whatever language, is your mother tongue. Because you get tuned to it. So does a biological concept of some ajika. Pitaji ki lori sunke bacha kyo ni sota hai? Maa ki hi to sunda hai wa lori. Why? Because the language mother speaks. The language that boy, those cystic waves are going in. That sound effect that boy is, the kid is, you know, listening inside the stomach. 
they are tuned that baby is getting due to that voice of the mother and when she speaks sab shant ho jata hai do second mein why that is the whole concept similarly with language you keep giving moral lecture for one hour in english unless i speak in konkani and make you understand politely you will not understand because that is in your soul and i am hitting your brain so first you have to hit the soul so that is the importance of mother tongue but now you can manage it here but the moment you go to you know, delhi up or kerala you keep speaking konkani say who is this monkey you know where he is come because you are out of place you cannot connect you cannot communicate you cannot achieve unless you cannot unless you communicate you are nothing so the power of communication has to be gained from other languages so it does not mean that my mother tongue is superior language it is superior only for me but not for the community understand it so that is the time your link languages like english hindi or other they come into play how many of uh, people will hire in delhi ki you are speaking good konkani so i let me take you for a call center job no no because that is not a skill needed that is good for communication but not from skill point of view so understand every language has a role in our career in our life in our culture so we should know the exact place for it so that's why there is no conflict i was in paris generally people don't speak in english so you are helpless so first you write in english then you translate it then you show it on the mobile and then you understand and you take it to that place then you tell uh, you book a taxi you get a passport you tell the passport to him and then the taxi driver who keeps speaking and he want to see but he doesn't understand then you have to write and put his finger and hold it and then press those keys this 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 that is the power of language so at this at the time if i say i will do in x y z language that won't help english will help so please understand maintain your language maintain your character your values your ethos but at the same time be very very alert to change the world is going on we have to empower yourself with multiple skills and this is one of the important aspect that you are multilingual that is the thing in the foundation of national education policy as well multilingualism three language formula they don't say ki number one language ye hogi number two ye hogi number three no there is no order they say you choose yourself you are free as a state to choose your language so i don't feel any conflict is there because nothing is being forced upon nothing is being made compulsory you are giving more options to choose please choose carefully so another point which i was talking about how you can write i told write your book send it mail will take it up and then process it what young minds can do first you can join us as a part of our reader club you can be a reader of npt books and i'm telling you the content you will read is phenomenal you can read 1000 books on 1857 revolution but i am asking you to read four pages of this speech of 1957 which we have published a 15 page booklet on 1857 by nehru and amol uh, anand kulam just read it you will understand what we have gone in 100 years only four pages only four pages i have read all good books on 1857 but these four pages are more fruitful to understand for young mind than those two three or eight 10 books i have read Please join us as a reader. Buy a book, take a book, read it somewhere. Where will you get time? Second is those who are good in writing. They can join our workshops. We can catch them here. We can give them grooming. You can create your own literary club in Delhi University. You'll be happy to know that they have created literary clubs. Ten to fifteen young students who are like minded, they sit together. We give them books. They keep it reading and put it open. Open library here in Kelan. A canteen library. Just read the book, put it, read and go back. So when you are sitting, what you do? You just sit in boxes with you. This is the most dangerous thing for your creativity. Be very careful because there is no match to books. There is no match. They educate you, they empower you, they make you stand tall. So join as a reader, join as a writer. Then we do a lot of workshops, lot of like I next time when we do books, sir. So some of these people they can attend the workshop. How actually books are translated? so they can attend that workshop we can give them one hour session how actually books are written how the 
know, some are good in artistic way. They can make good illustrations. They can make good graphics. I have a book, just look at it. If you have any, anyone have a book, just give me a book. Any book. Hey, this is okay. This is just not uh, that this is the book you have to when this book starts, understand journey of a book. The journey of a book starts with an idea. Then commissioning of an author. Author to your author just for you. Then from author then there's somebody who types it. Then there's a typist. Then there's somebody who makes the cover page. Then there's somebody who makes the designs. Then there's somebody who does the editing. There's somebody who does the proofreading. Then there's somebody who does the, uh, the production uh, textbook. And finally then there's somebody who works the costing. And then somebody promotes it. Somebody is doing marketing. Somebody doing social media promotion. The journey of a book is not a simple step. This complete process may there are thousand layers and thousand career opportunities. You can become a writer, typesetter, illustrator, marketing man, graphic designer, proofreader, editor, and also a publisher. This is what I am telling you. So there are ample career opportunities which you can do. We are also doing an online publishing course. People who are keen to make career in publishing. That's a three months online course which you can take as one of the finest course in the country. And uh, if you do it, you'll be happy to know that best of the publishing houses are being led by professionals whom NBT has trained or given them interviews. Those who are uh, in areas like Mumbai, we have regional offices, north, south, east, uh, sub regional offices. Wherever you go, you will find it. You can become a member of literary club. So all these things can happen. So this is one idea. Now, uh, what else uh, NBT is doing? NBT is just not a publisher, understand it. We are the knowledge partner of the nation. When we say knowledge partner, we not only publish, create knowledge. We develop the content first, ourselves. We don't go to borrow keys, call it, or make it, hack it, copyright, or whatever, cheating, or anything else. No, this is not like that. We produce original content. The best part, all languages, we are touching all the corners. Nobody in the industry can match the uh, highest professional standards that NBT follows. I'm not saying it because uh, I'm adding it as a director. Actually, it is a state. It is not an institution. Since 1957, this institution has been run by one of the best people in the industry. One of the best chairmen, one of the best directors, one of the best competent, competent editors and other language editors. So, this is the Know, foundation on which the institution is standing. Always remember, good quality institutions and uh, structures and corporate offices, whatever you take it, are not built in one night. It takes years. If I feel I am the best to use come, no, I am not the best to use come. There are better people than me when I join, and there will be better people than me who will be joining after me. I am just in a transit field that I am giving my contribution. And that's how a professional look at this journey. Wherever they are, they should keep their best in that phase of life. Then only good quality institutions can build up. Now, I'll give you two, three your management students and uh, teachers. It's not important that we create a book. To take it and make it accessible is very, very important. But more than that, we have to ensure and remember the highest rating I give to any person in this world is to the person who is a teacher. There are two reasons to it. The teacher is the one who is playing with the mind of the young boys. We are dealing with intellectual wavelength. We are playing with the minds of the generation. We are playing with the mind of the country. And what we teach them, what we educate them, is directly dependent on two parameters. One, the capacity of the teacher, the grooming of the teacher, and the content he is holding in his hand. You give him a garbage book, he will teach a garbage book. He will not apply his brain. Because he feels that whatever has been given to him is the most authentic content, so I should go with it. He pays a chapki, I am not There are many publishers who publish uh, totally non research content also. So you have to be very careful. Second thing, to be a good teacher, you have to be a very good reader. Unless you read, you cannot write. If you can't read, you cannot write, let me tell you, you can't speak also. You will be running short of words. If you have enough content, you can speak for hours and hours and hours, even days also. So it's a three-dimensional exercise, read, write and speak. And then automatically the leadership qualities in you will 
bad movie. If your teacher is so intelligent, he's a very good writer, and he can't speak in stand in the class, the first class boy say, my teacher is third class. Is it not so? Because he cannot communicate, he cannot explain. So those who are in the process of being teacher from the education stream, please understand, if you are deaf and dumb, if you are silent, you are not speaking, you are not communicating effectively, you won't be a good teacher. And to be a good teacher, you should have content. It's a simple ego theory, garbage in, garbage out. What you will read and eat will produce same. If you read a good content, you will produce good arguments. If you produce good arguments, you will produce good minds. If you produce good minds, you will produce good leaders. And then the country will grow. Most important part that you can do as a teacher or as a student or whatever you are doing is to inculcate the habit of reading a book in our environment. Kuch bhi karke humko book se just connect them with books. Because you never know when a book can change your life. They shape your mind, they shape your ideas, they shape your vision. Suddenly you pick a book and you find interesting it can change your life. It will happen only when you pick a book. When you pick when somebody goes, always carry a book in your bag. Whenever you have five minutes, if you read, suppose 10, 15 minutes, 15 minutes you are waiting for a train. You can easily read seven to eight pages. By the time you will reach home, you will have finished 70 to 80 pages in one day. 100 pages in one day. Worst of the cases, one book in uh, two or three days. Almost 100 to 150 books in a year. Let me tell you in one percent of the society. If you can read only 10 pages a day, 10, nothing more than that, only 10, you are in 1% of the country. 1%, it's my challenge. Because people even don't read 10 pages a day. When you read 10 pages, write 1 page per day. Just 1 page, nothing more than that. If you can write 10, read 10, write 1, speak for 1 minute. If I ask somebody come and speak on this, Start shifting what to speak because you never told your mind that you have to frame your thoughts. So, reading, writing, and speaking is a complete loop which you have to understand and develop it over a period of time. It's a habit and an excellence which comes not in one day but over a period of time. Now, just some more things quickly I want to share with you. Uh, these are schemes, go kaise chapta hai, what scheme, you can take discount, you can become club members, you can do a collaboration with NBT wherever you are for starting exhibitions, book fair, mobile exhibitions. We can have a training workshop with you, we can have, you can organize a lot of competitions here on uh, literary activities or quiz competition or what book day you can celebrate and you can uh, do a essay competition or other things. We will be happy to give the prizes for that. We of course will sponsor all the academic events in terms of books. You tell us you want so many copies of this book and you create an event and organize it. Please make it a habit even if you don't read. Carry a book in your pocket. Someday you will read. Someday you will read. And the first book should not be, Aray, I have read a book, I will read it. No. Go to yourself, your library. Pick yourself what you want. I got a lot of libraries at home. I am happy, very happy to see the library here. Not because of the size, but the way it is can. I tell you why. I want to see, we have two lab books. I was very happy now to see the library. All of them are locked. The moment your library is locked, 80% probability that student will not go and pick the book. Make it open. The teacher will never come, the librarian will never come, and then will chapi raga, chapi, lega, and then will lega, chala jaya. This what happens. If they are open, they can speak to you, you can speak to them. That is the best thing I did. Second thing, <coughs> pick a book, don't just throw it away. Go to internet, read about it. Puri book khari diya, le diya, ki maza nahi aya. To wo 50% probability thi that you will do it. Once you have wasted your money, then you say ki no, I'll not buy a second book. How many of you go to CCD, cafe coffee day? Honestly, raise your hand. McDonald's. Please be honest, I'll tell you why. There's reason to it. Honestly, raise your hand. Pizza Hut, Domino's. No one goes. You go. How much uh, one pizza costs to you? 300? <laughs> no, it's honesty. Honesty. Why am I lying? So at least uh, twice a month, 600 rupees. 
you go to NPT store, you will buy, buy, buy the best of the book in 50, 60 rupees. And best thing you can give to your generation and your department is a library. Those who have library in their houses, their growth rate is 20 times higher than the number. It's a case study. Jinkei ghar mein library hai, unki 20% growth rate hai. Jinkei ghar mein akbar aata, unki 10% se zahada growth rate hai. Or also. Understand. There are many things, the pedagogy, art of teaching, I get to in school, I get, I'm sharing experience because you should know. I'm a teacher, okay, fine. I was a student some time back. They're teaching economics, okay, fine. They're teaching about education. Okay, man, tell us about your education policy. You, when you go to the class, pick up a newspaper, show them, I am going to teach you this thing today. Because this is the headline of the newspaper and it has a direct bearing on your life. So important topic. Let's start with it. That is the power of a teacher. You told them why it is so important. You keep giving them moral lecture for two hours, nothing will happen. In this age, nothing will happen. But you show them the evidence, something will happen. So the pedagogy says you must be able to connect with the contemporary things. Then only academic in teaching is effective. Similarly for students. People say, Are you a nahi hai, oh, bahut bakwas teacher, oh, bahut bakwas institute, oh, bahut bekaar cafe. This kind of thing, this is the classic Indian trade I have seen. We just make a statement of the track without going into detail. Never make a statement. It is no value. You're wasting your energy. It, it may stop somebody from argument for a second, but it doesn't convince. Statement without fact, it's just a statement and there's no weight. Statement with a fact is an argument. It has got some weight. But long argument never takes you away, never gives you convincing power. Argument supported by another argument create one opinion. And one opinion cannot make you leader. Opinion supported by another opinion by another opinion make you leader. Give you convincing ability. And that is how you are able to execute the ideas you want to do in this life. I am telling you all these things because these are experiences, they will not be written in any book. So whenever you get this urge, the temptation to give just all the kind of comment, please say that cafe is not good because of these, these regions. That will become your habit. Because when you will speak, you will speak with facts. And over a period of time, what you do in routine life will become your personality. Who are good teachers? अच्छा टीचर कौन है? जिसकी क्लास में मजा आता है, जिसकी क्लास में पढ़ने में समझ आता है, जो प्यार से बात करता है, जो आपकी बात को समझता है, जो आपको कुछ नया देता है, जो अच्छे टीचर का फीडबैक तो ये है, जब आपको ये पता है कि अच्छे टीचर को ये होना चाहिए, तो फिर हम करते क्यों नहीं? I'm not criticizing anybody. I am talking about the full ecosystem. There are many things we can talk about teaching, pedagogy, learning, leadership, management. Idea is please, please read. That's what mandate is. If you can read, you can lead. Otherwise, in old days, your mind will read. I am telling you, you will be feeling, Kaash mene padha hota. You will cry, Kaash mene padha hota. Or uh, at least, uh, when you have birthday, don't offer pizza treats and chocolates and pastries. Gift one book and think you have 750 students. Today, if it is your birthday, you will gift one book. One year, you are adding 750 books to your library. Good books. And sure, sir, when there is a birthday, a boy or girl should gift one book of your choice, whatever money he wants to the library. Write name on that paper, date on that paper. Because some of you will really make big in life. Some of you will become ministers, IAS, IPS, teacher, principal. You never know some of you will be sitting as a head principal here someday. That day when you will pick that book, that book will not be a book. That will be a historic document. And this is what we do when we go to archives. I went to National Archives Calcutta Library to see what Vivekananda used to write. I have Subhashan was calling the original letters. उन्होंने वो नॉर्मल चिट्ठी लिखी थी, किताब लिखी थी वो ऐसी, उसपे साइन करके गिफ्ट किया था। आज वो प्राइसलेस है। माइंड स्पेरिमेंट में ट्रूथ की एक कॉपी बची हुई है, वो 2.5 लाख पाउंड्स की है वो। उस टाइम दो आने की थी वो, दो आना। सो यू कैन मेक हिस्ट्री। 
we go create a good culture and it's a beautiful place uh, there's no match to books i will not talk much about this endless process uh, i want to ask questions because that will give a lot of clarity to you you can ask in any domain i have worked in different different campuses whatever experience i have i will love to share with you because if i take it back with me it is my property and of no use this is experiences for you to ask
So what is more important? Now you know. So please, you are a master of your destiny, don't hand over it to people sitting in uh, San Francisco and uh, BC. You have to hand over your brain to people who will work on it. Right? That's all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, Kash may be bada uh, Just to narrate an incident from my life. I mean, uh, uh, since my childhood, I don't remember my father buying me a lot of clothes or uh, I tell this to my students uh, a lot of times. But uh, on whether it was my birthday, whether it was Diwali or any other festival, I remember accompanying my father to the local book fair and uh, exhibitions and buying a dozen books each time. And uh, this same thing happened at the age of 20. I mean, 20s are they are quite old, but then uh, even at the age of 20, my father has gifted me books and uh, when other people got toys, I don't remember a single toy from my father, but uh, the gift of books that he has given me, it's uh, taken me to more places than uh, those toys or those shoes or those uh, clothes would ever take me. Uh, coming back to the program, uh, the, the presentation or the talk that Sir gave was very energetic, very focused, very inspiring and uh, the reason for that is something I forgot to tell at the beginning, I'm sorry for that. Uh, let me introduce our guest for the day. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Yuvraj Malik, he has taken over as the director of the National Book Trust uh, on the 8th of January 2020. Prior to joining the NBT, uh, he, uh, he's uh, actually come from, uh, he's come on deputation from the Indian Army. Uh, he has served with uh, the Ministry of Defence, Ministry of Home Affairs, Raj Bhavan, Jammu and Kashmir, United Nations missions in Africa and several operational areas and administrative and operational assignments, including JNK, Sikkim, Punjab, and Rajasthan. He is a voracious reader and is passionate about the world of books. He has had more than 15 years of administrative experience in various capacities in government organizations. Uh, his passion for books, I think, uh, you know, I'm sure all of you must have realized it from the way he spoke. You know, he didn't give a speech, he spoke from his heart. And uh, I hope that's a takeaway that all of you have at the end of the day. Uh, you know, uh, when we take, we take our selfies and we take our uh, you know, Insta posts and we try to remember moments that we put. I think the best takeaways from life are uh, like, uh, from people like uh, Colonel uh, Malik. You know, and uh, hopefully many years down the line, you will not regret and say, Kash Mani uh, Moving on. Uh, I request our, uh, the director to hand over the book to our librarian. Uh, as a, this is uh, from NPT to our college library. Thank you, sir. Absolutely, sir. Uh, and I also think uh, the suggestion that uh, sir gave us regarding donating one book to the college library on, the, on your birthday is a very, very uh, beautiful gesture on your part. Uh, when you come down you know, to the college after 10 years perhaps, you may want to go to the library once again just to see if that book is still there and in your name and your signature is there. And I think that's also going to be very touching at that you know, time. Maybe when your students come to our library, you know, they'll see the teacher's name on the book and say, oh, my teacher gifted this book to the college. That's also very, you know, a, I think, uh, very heartwarming gesture. Uh, moving ahead, uh, we are coming to the fag end of our presentation, of our uh, pro program. I request our principal to hand over a uh, moment to our uh, chief guest. Besides that, 
you told about the PM Yuva Yojana. It is uh, grateful for the young authors. Okay, and beside the how the NPT they are going to donate the different books to the different uh, schools also. Then uh, you are told about the how the national heritage values. Okay, because we are going to uh, unite our nation through different languages. And as sir, you told about the how the different languages, the culture of that language language and culture it is spreading through NPT to all over our country. So I am, I am very much thankful sir. It is definitely benefit to our student as well as the teachers also. I also thankful to our principal Dr. Bhushan Bhavi. Sir, sir has requested to uh, the director and he has ready to come here and we definitely benefit, uh, benefit your lecture sir. Definitely we have to take something from your lectures. As you told about the how to give a gift on birthday, okay, that can be implemented by each and everyone. So I am very much thankful to sir. Our librarian, sir Nitesh Naik sir, he also contributed for this program. All the students and my dear uh, staff members, I am very much thankful to you all for attending this uh, guest uh, talk of uh, sirs. Okay, and again I am thanking all the lab uh, uh, in charge are there, Naik, Balaji, Rajesh is there and multitasking staff for arranging this all the programs. Thank you, Anana. Congratulating our speaker deserves a big round of applause for him. Thank you, guys. Feel free to leave.